I used to see the magazine ads and the TV commercials. All I was taught was that a big busted blonde was all I could aspire to be. So I would dye my hair, so I would act like a dumb blonde. I could still beat them at any of those mind games, but men still don't like the truth shoved in their faces because they refuse to believe that any, anything that doesn't stroke their ego. Sorry. So yeah, I was a carbon copy of what the media shoved down America's throats. And yeah, as time went on, the dark-haired women started to gain some popularity back, but they still had to be anorexically thin, and, and still had to battle this notion that, sorry, this notion of all men still adoring the dumb blonde. And yeah, as the years wore on, I didn't have to dye my hair, but I still had to be thin. I still had to be a carbon copy of that dark-haired, gaunt, soulless faces that are plastered on billboard pa billboards, papers, and screens. I pass the magazine stands, see carbon copies of the models on multiple magazine covers. I pass the media store with rows and stacks of repeated TV screens showing carbon copies to the world of what we're supposed to be. And I don't want to be a carbon copy of anything. I want my own thoughts, my own ideas, and I want to spill them out for the entire world to read and hear. But carbon copy or not, I end up resigned knowing that despite our differences, we are all carbon-based life forms. I mean, when scientists look for life on other planets, they always only look for water first. Well, sure, hydrogen, oxygen, life as we know it needs it, I get it, but carbon-based life forms are all we know. I mean, whether or not they have arms or legs or gills or a mouth or a brain, they all have carbon in common. So when I see the atrocities mankind causes, when I see Adolf Hitler, the vegetarian artist wannabe, when I see Adolf Hitler collect his cult of followers to systematically slaughter millions, when I see the stacks of the skin and bone emaciation, stacks of bodies in ditches or in rooms stacked in a pyramid to a small hole for air in the ceiling after their final shower, when I see the Pope visit Cuba and wear a sombrero. <laughs> when I see chicken crammed into rows of cages they cannot move in for their eggs, for their flesh. When I see the rows of prepackaged, barely recognizable cow flesh wrapped in cellophane row after row in the grocery store. It is then I have to remember that despite everything, and as much as I hate to admit it, we're all not that different. I mean, if nothing else, we're all carbon-based life forms.